So the surface of Mars is made of iron. Right. It's a lot of uh, uh, FeO2 iron, like rust, basically. Right. So if you add CO2 to rust, then you're going to get oxygen. So that would be really cool for us if this comet just happened to leave a whole bunch of you oxygen, know, on, oxygen Mars. on Mars for us That'd to go and, wild. and set up a that resort. Would, that would explain a lot like of our history and that kind of yeah, stuff yeah. if it if it actually pulled that off. It would be really cool. Yeah. So um, <laughs> we'll be able to see it up until September and then September is when it's going to boink out behind the sun. Yeah. So now Bob says it's moving. So how fast is this thing moving? It is moving at 137,000 miles per hour. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> 137,000 miles per hour. How far is it to the moon? It's 238,000 miles to the moon. So this thing is would literally make it from the <coughs> moon to us in two hours. Yeah. So that's how fast this thing is ripping through the, through the solar system. That's that's pretty quick. Two that's hours. Fast. Yeah. Two hours. Now think about that that warning that yeah. you get, right? That's how fast it's moving. Like you would see it on the horizon, then just get bigger and bigger and bigger, and then it's over. Bonk. So this is way <laughs> faster than the, the first two interstellar uh, meteors that came through. And this thing is going to increase speed as it gets closer to the sun because it's going to slingshot off right. the sun.